Hi, in this session we'll discuss about how do we customize payable invoice account generation account generation workflow. So let us start how exactly to identify which particular process we have to customize where exactly the workflow will get kicked off. So when we raised when we raise a when we create a payable invoice, so here if you observe once you enter the item details, once you enter the item details and the project details entry. So here once you enter the project task and expenditure details, so what happens is the particular account generator workflow the payable account generator workflow get, get called and it will update the distribution charge account so here if you observe it this is this got entered manually but the expectation is that when you enter the project information automatically this charge account will get allocated at the distribution so how this happens is based on the setup which oracle has already provided for us we just need to customize the appropriate process so now the basic question is how do we identify which particular process we have to modify so now here there are a lot number of account generator workflows which are available so we have fixed asset account generator purchase order account generator we have payable invoice account generator and maybe some couple of other more but in our case we are discussing about payable invoice account generator workflow so close this one now go to general ledger responsibility and in this one control l and open account generation process so now here the basic thing is in a given erp environment you may have lot number of what you say like uh, you your client may be across your globe and each particular each particular country they may have a different structure right so you have to make sure that for which particular structure you want to modify nothing but for which particular ledger and the corresponding corresponding structure for which you want to modify the account generator workflow in my case i would like to modify for operation accounting flex field so here for this operation accounting flex field nothing but all the ledgers which are using this particular structure will get affected that's what i'm trying to tell you so now in our case so the item type for the invoice account generator is like just search with invoice yeah so the name of the workflow is project supplier invoice account generator and the default process name which it will get called is generate default account now there are a couple of ways of doing this customization but the best way and the ideal way what we developer do is always simply copy the serial process rename it and do the customization so we'll we'll also follow the same approach so now this is my item name and this is my process name so what you do is so if you want to know what the internal name everything what you can do is just search with a wf item type, item types table and you can know what is the item type name so this is item type name this is a process item name right display name so go to workflow navigator click on open database apps VIS okay. So project project supplier project supplier check the name again project supplier invoice okay yeah So you can just see this one. Project supplier. Yeah, this is the one. Project supplier invoice account generation. So copy this. Click on OK. So always click on save as and save into your local system that's the best thing i'll just save it as okay and now here if you observe this is the top level item name in this one the process name is generate default account generate default account so the next the first step you have to do is simply copy this particular generate default account control c control v okay now just so paste it and once you click on control v it will ask you to modify or maybe it is it will ask you to re-enter the information because you cannot have 
same process name within the same item right so what we do is we always just rename with xx some with some name okay now in my case i just mentioned xxr and here also xxr to identify this is my custom particular process and click on ok now the next step is open this particular workflow and here if you observe by default oracle has provided a lot number of functionalities but in our case we does not need to do all this logic so the easiest thing what we would like to do is so here we'll try to use the we'll try to create a new process with the same i mean we'll try to use this oracle provided standard process rename that okay and i think what copy paste and have a new name for that and in that one very simple thing like i just need to start with the start process and end process so the starting process here whatever you have we just need to use the same thing start accounting flexifield so here if you observe so i'll just i'll not remove this one start generation accounting code come use the same start process here and the remaining whatever you have just simply remove them it's not required we'll try to build a very easier logic okay so i'll just remove all these things here of course there are like each developer will each developer will each developer follows a different logic so you know like uh, it all depends upon the their capabilities or their known factors or maybe requirement so there are many factors comes into picture so in our case i'll just remove all these things here just simply have start and end remaining we'll just try to build everything from scratch okay so in our case what we do is we created one custom package which will generate the account generate which will generate the account number and that particular account number will be using it so in real time what happens is based on your project selection based on your project task and all the project related information you may have you may need to use a different account i mean to say like based on your project setup so at the project level you may set up that for this particular project you want to use a particular account right so that's how we try to build the account at runtime or let us say if you know if you're in if you're in the initial stages of your uh, development and if you're not aware which particular ta which particular account to be used and if your project is not totally set up what you can do is you can just as of now i mean initially we can just simply customize the workflow try to hardcore the account and later on you can again modify that I'm just removing everything here. Okay. Right. So not required anything. Just you require start and end. Okay. So it just have start and end as of now, okay? Yeah, cool. Where is our start? Yeah, so now this is how it is looking like as of now. You just have a start, end, end success, and about, about. Okay, now this is generally a failure one. So you can just simply okay now here the next step is so we have a PL SQL function which is we have written a PL SQL procedure which will generate which will generate a phone my package body here so of course there's already built-in logic which we provided you know like if at all if you would like to use a project based accounting you can use that but time being so here i just simply hard coded the thing here just scroll down you just need to build your gel code con code combination pattern okay so just scroll down here
yeah this one get pa charge account okay so in this method what you can do is you just need to okay so here just simply i just hard coded here like a company account and all these things and now this particular variable is having you're holding this value right and and what you do is so here if you observe for each particular element company account right so we just mentioned what is the value so for each particular value here can you see set item attribute text segment one segment two segment three like this we are setting the value of the segments and here we are not using this particular total string at any place okay so generally in the real time if you want to validate okay if that particular value which is generated or which you are using is a proper one or not we can still validate but in this case we are not using anywhere okay so simply what we are doing is in this particular package for these particular attributes we are setting the values so in my case the chart of account segment which I'm using is a five segment. So I'm setting five segment values if at all if in your case It is six if it is eight or something like that. You need to set that number of attributes here Okay, once you set this one so call this particular package here. So in my case, I'm simply calling here. I created a function XXLT generate default account function. Okay, so call this package and now what we do is call this function here Call this function in the custom process which we are building And then what you do is if it is failure call this failure one fail and if it is success you just need to build your account generation so what we do is like here there are a lot number of seeded functionalities we have to use it so assign flexible value or uh, assign flexible flexi field general flexi field value validate and is generation done there are some few set of things we have to use it assign value to segment it's the first thing we have to use it here for each segment we have to call this particular function one two three four and five okay so these five segments and after that the other one is assign valid segment after that is code combination valid this one thing and uh, the other one is validate okay so these two things so you can still validate with my existing logic which i have built already let me use check it again okay so here if you see <coughs> okay so after assigning uh, call validate and then is code combination okay validate and then is code combination and then true that's it okay so validate and if it is failure call this one false okay and then link everything here direct linkage success is already calling just simply link okay one and this assign value to segment depends upon how many segments you have one two three four five in our case we it's a five segment right that's the reason i'm using five segment in, in your case it is six eight or if it is 12 you just need to use the appropriate one okay just save it yep perfect and now the next thing you have to do is so here for each particular for each particular these things like assign value to segment what we have to do is so just click on this one and click on node attributes and here on the segment you just need to mention what is your gl code combination segment the name of your segment structure like you, in our case i'm using operation operation account flex right so this operation account flex based on a particular segment's values right so in my case this is my five segment structure these are my segment details so the first one is company right so i need to mention company so segment value is constant segment and what is the value because this value we are generating using our plsql logic so i'll select item attribute in this one we define a temporary attributes right xxlt segment one this is for segment one in the same way try to build the segment 2 go to segment 2 and here and click on order attributes and the segment 1 the segment 2 here which it belongs to department mention department here and the value will be item attribute 
and segment 2 okay the same way we have to build the remaining segment also x x l t segment so the same way we have to build once we built everything what we can do is save to database and once you save to database what will happen we could see our workflow name here so once your workflow is done then what you do is just open here make sure that your custom workflow build workflow which you build should appear here once this is built what happens is while invoking your while creating your ap invoice after entering the item details after entering the project details once you click on save automatically workflow should get called and it has to generate the it has to generate the charge account and one more <coughs> important thing is we have a table called powf debug table so we already added the added up the debug debug logic in that so you can just always try to call this particular query to validate whether your workflow is getting called or not if any if at all if it is having any issues you can always validate here so always mention your item type okay so this is how we can customize an account generation stuff thank you